Hi everyone, Gavin's back. So for this video, I am going to be showcasing to you folks some of my recent 35 millimeter trailer purchases. Um, I have four here to show you guys. I purchased all of these from eBay a couple weeks back and I waited until my last one came in to do this video just so um, it wouldn't seem spontaneous, you know? But I have all four here ready to show you guys. Um, in all of their pure, unfiltered, 35mm glory. And I am also filming this in my new room. I just moved uh, rooms uh, from upstairs in my house to downstairs in my house. So if you see this gigantic uh, stack of uh, media, as you do now, um, now you know why, because I just moved to a new room and I'm arranging everything and alphabetizing all of my titles here. So if you do see this in the video, just don't mind it. It's just new uh, room moving stuff. But anyway, back to the point of the video. I have four trailers to show, like I told you guys. Um, three of them are scope, and one of them is in flat. And like I said, they are all purchased from eBay. So I say without further ado, and we'll get started, and we will start with the two used ones that I have uh, that came in used condition. So I will start with this one here. This here is a 35 millimeter trailer. You can't really tell from the outside, but this is a 35 millimeter trailer for Muppets Most Wanted. Um, and you can tell that it was in used condition because here is the splice. They used yellow splicing tape, it looks like. Well, you could, of course it's yellow splicing tape. I mean, what else? <laughs> but as you can see, we have yellow splicing tape there. And this came in tails out. So let me just unwind this. There's a lot of uh, black um, frames here. So let me just unwind it so I can get to some. There we go. So once again, this is Muppet, This is um, the trailer for Muppets Most Wanted, trailer two. Not the, not the teaser, but the actual theatrical trailer. Uh, so let me focus it in frame here. If it will decide to focus, come on. There we go. There we go, beautiful. As you can see, we have the... A uh, little legal legalese on there for Muppets Most Wanted, like the cast billing and the crew billing and all that fun stuff. But yes, this is um, this is the theatrical trailer of, of Muppets Most Wanted, and I do believe this showed with prints of movies like Frozen because I actually saw Frozen in 35mm, back whenever the Rave Pittsburgh North 11, which, as you guys know, is where I, I used to film a lot of my 35mm cinema endings, um, they, they were a big holdout of 35mm uh, where I live, which is Pittsburgh. And they closed, of course, in May of 2015. They showed Frozen in 35mm, and they played this trailer beforehand. So it's easy to assume that this played in front of uh, 35mm screenings of the movie Frozen. So let me just show you the last few frames here. Again, it might take a while to get into focus, so just bear with me here. And I can't like manually focus because this is a live stream and the camera mechanism, how this works is different than if I were recording it from my regular camera app. But, oh, come on. It's hard to tell because it's all blurry and all that crap, but this is the last scene of the trailer where uh, Tina Fey's character is walking through the prison. But, um, yeah, so this is um, the theatrical trailer of Muppets Most Wanted in all of its 35mm glory. Um, I won this... Um, off of a bidding auction on eBay. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to briefly set the camera down 
Uh, I know this not this is this isn't the most pleasant viewing experience, but just bear with me here because it's the fastest way I can roll up the film because it's hard to do it while I am holding a camera. But this particular um, yes, this uh, trailer from Muppets Most Wanted I won off of a bidding auction on eBay. Um, and I'm glad I did because uh, this is I, I really enjoy um, the movie Muppets Most Wanted. So it felt nice to have this on a 35 millimeter format in some respect, even if it's not the actual feature, which did get a 35 release. But yeah, so this is Muppets Most Wanted. And now to get on to our uh, next and final used trailer. And this one I also won off a bidding auction on eBay. And this is the 35mm trailer of the Lego movie. This is actually the first teaser trailer. This is the teaser trailer, um, not the theatrical trailer with um, that had the Everything is Awesome song in it. This is the um, teaser trailer uh, that released with, um, I, think, I think it was programmed with movies like Monsters University and Despicable Me 2 and all those uh, films. But uh, this actually came in heads out, which is nice. And once again, you can tell it is in used condition because you can see the splice here. Um, but let me just uh, show you guys what the head of the trailer looks like. Again, this might take a while to focus, so just bear with me here as I do try and get it into focus. But there we go. Um, oh, wait, I have it on the wrong backwards. Hang on. There we go. So as you can see, um, the following preview has been approved to accompany this feature. And this one actually has DTS time code on the, on the side. Um, the Muppets Most Wanted trailer did not have DTS time code. Um, this one does. So, and I assume the reason uh, it was not on, the DTS time code was not on Muppets Most Wanted because that whenever film was kind, was more or less dwindling and Disney wasn't being so nice with uh, keeping out um, on their 35 millimeter sound formats for projectionists. But um, let me put this in the frame for you guys uh, and focus it up. If I can, there we go. And as you can see, there is the Warner Brothers logo there, uh, which is the variant for the Lego movie uh, teaser trailer. And I'll unwind it just a bit more. And I will show you the Village Roadshow Pictures logo. Oh, it just, there we go. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Again, as you can see, it does have DTS time code on the side, which is pretty cool. Um, but now I'm going to wind this one back up. So just once again, bear with me here. Um, but this was a, this was a nice find because I mean, most of you who have followed my channel throughout the years, you all know that I am a huge fan of the, of the Lego movie. So being able to add this to my collection really meant a lot to me. So I am, again, happy that I won this um, auction off of eBay uh, because the Lego movie is an awesome movie and having the trailer for that on 35mm really means a lot. And this is, like I said, the last used trailer that I have for this update. The, um, the next two that I'm going to show were sealed when I got them. So the, I, I would say they are in like new condition right now. They were brand new when I got them, but, but I would say they're in like new condition now because I unsealed them. So, but they, I would say they are in better condition uh, than these two. Not saying that, that these two are in bad condition. I'm just saying that, you know, they've been used and probably have seen better days. But these next two that I'm going to show you uh, were sealed when I got them in the mail from eBay. So this first one is actually a um, uh, older trailer from 1999, and it comes on one of these little plastic cores, actually, uh, 
well, one of the bigger ones at least. Uh, most movie trailers come on a one inch core. This is a bigger core. Uh, I don't know exactly how much it measures, but if someone can confirm that in the comments, that would be great. Uh, but anywho, let me um, wind this up so you guys can see the label. And this, this is a teaser trailer. Whoops, let me get that back in there. There we go. This is a teaser trailer for South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. I love that title, by the way. That's such a great, clever title. But anyway, yes, this is a trailer for the South Park movie that came out in 99. And this is the teaser. Um, and as you can see, uh, it is Scope. And this is labeled... Uh, disco, not pretty. So this is actually the variant of the teaser. There were a few variants of the South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut teaser. There was one um, that was released on the uh, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut DVD whenever that came out in 1999, where um, it's you know it takes place like uh, in, in a you know in a computer screen and. It's got the announcer saying, like, this is the biggest technological achievement in, you know, film film animation and everything. And then it just, uh, to Cartman. And he does the German dance, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, and then it, uh, after the title card shows up, he says, who the hell are you people? And then it just cuts to June 1999, the film's release date. This is actually different. It still opens up the same way with the computer and the narrator saying technological achievement and all that jazz. But um, this one actually has Cartman um, singing Disco Sensation instead of uh, the German dance. Uh, so he sings Get Down, Disco Sensation instead of um, the German dance. But um, I, I think it still is funny. And at the end of this one, he says, instead of him saying, Who the hell are you people? Uh, he says oh boy, this is not going to be pretty. Um, so not as, you know, humorous as the um, who the hell are you people one, but um, still, you know, makes, oh, my orientation just got, okay, hopefully you guys can still, can still see. But, um, but uh, yeah, not, not as, you know, laugh out loud funny, but, it, you know, it, it still gets the comedic point across. So if I can get this into focus here, there we go. Coming 1999. And once again, this is in scope format. And this one does have DTS timecode, as you can see. And I'll unwind it just a little bit more. And, uh... There's Cartman. And here is the film's title card. In all of its beautiful 35 millimeter glory. And as I unwind this, um, this one I just, um, oh, hello uh, to Tom's video stash. Glad you're here. I have a, I, and stay here because I got a big announcement to make at the end. And you're going to like it, I, at least I hope. But um, as I wind this back up, uh, this was uh, another really awesome find because I love the South Park movie to death. It's one of my favorite movies, um, like, of all time, uh, pretty much. So, uh Finding this was pretty cool. I didn't win this off of an auction. Um, rather, I just... It was a buy it now um, uh, option on eBay. So I just bought this one. And, uh, you know, here it is in my hands. And I'm happy to have it because, like I said, the South Park movie is awesome. And so is this, so is this trailer. So this is another um, uh, really good find that I am very satisfied to have. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, the South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut teaser on 35 millimeter film. All right, and uh, the last 
the last 35 millimeter trailer I have to show before I make my big announcement. Um, this is fairly recent. Um, one of the last trailers I think that was printed on 35 millimeter film before, uh, you know, its initial death knell. And this is the 35 millimeter trailer for Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. The 2014 adaptation of the book of the same name from Walt Disney Studios motion pictures, of course. This is a scope trailer. Uh, this is trailer number one. I think that's the only trailer it had, really. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Of course, Green Man. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about an R-rated movie here, for crying out loud. Um, and it has here, like, on the bottom, that this is a customary thing for all Disney movies. Um, property of Walt Disney Pictures must be returned upon request. Well, that's kind of bullcrap because I had the trailer now. But, you know, whatever. Uh, but anyway, let me... Um, unwind it for you guys and this is actually uh printed from photochem how do i know uh the um tail leader this um information here is reminiscent of what a photochem trailer would look like so you got this um Diz M, which i'm sure is just some abbreviation for some disney exhibition company alexander bad day domestic trailer number one uh, it is in scope format, like I said, um, and we have the, uh, let's see here, it'll focus, there we go, the photo cam logo, film and video, uh, this is dated, come on, there we go, this is dated April 30th, 2014, and I will unwind the rest of this. Actually, let me show you guys this, because this is pretty cool. Um, here we have... I have to kind of... There we go. At least hopefully. Come on, get into focus. Get into focus. There we go. Or not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but here we have the Kodak Digital Lad test image with the um, leader lady, as they call them. Right here it says, use this lad. And on here, this is pretty cool. Technicolor Digital Intermediates. Well, um, I actually, uh, there's this um, wiki called Sprocket School, and that's what they refer to them as. I mean, I guess, I guess they are, I, I mean, I, I've heard of the, the, the um, term China Girl, uh, around, I don't know, I, I, I've just, um, on Sprocket School, they, they, uh, which is a wiki for projectionists, they refer to it as a leader lady. So, I mean, you can really call it whatever you want. I mean, there's no, but that, I mean, that's what I call it, but, you know, we're open to interpretation. Anyway, uh, so here is what the last few frames of the trailer looks like. October, Disney.com slash Alexander. I wonder if that website still works. It, probably not, but I mean... I'll have to check that after I make this video. But no DTS time code because this was more or less towards the end of 35 millimeter exhibition um, whenever it was wide. And I think, you know, fun fact about this one, I I, I don't think this, act, like this movie actually got a 35 millimeter release, like the actual movie itself. It got a trailer, but... I don't really recall it getting an actual 35 movie release because whenever the rave um, Pittsburgh North 11 was open, um, my go-to 35 millimeter theater in this area, um, they showed it on one of their two digital projectors, not on a film projector. So I can't confirm whether or not this actually got a 35 millimeter release. My hunch is no, but at least we have it in trailer form. Uh, so at least, you know, like there, there's some semblance, semblance of this movie being on, you know, a film format. Interesting. I mean, you can't always trust the IMDB, but I, I do believe it. I do believe it. I mean, I, I'm sure there are prints made of this out there because Disney didn't, Disney didn't quit, um, 
around this time. I mean, they still made prints. I think the last 35 millimeter movie, bear with me for a second as I wind back up, but um, uh, I think the last 35 millimeter um, uh, movie they uh, shipped out for wide exhibition was Ant-Man. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was Ant-Man. Uh, but... Um, I mean, that, 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 that's what I know, because, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this did get a print, because D Disney didn't completely quit, you know, they still made, um, uh, print. hang on one second. There's a 35mm print of The Rise of Skywalker. I gotta keep my eye out for that, jeez. Film is not dead, folks. Yeah, I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Usually, if it is shot on film, not not always, not always. Usually, if it is shot on film and it and it's a trustworthy filmmaker, then um, th they're pretty, they're they're pretty supportive about putting it on a film format for exhibition. But I'll have to check and see on that one. But no, this is a good find uh, that I got on eBay for a buy it now um, auction, and I'm happy to own it because this is one of the last ones I think that got printed trailer wise. So cool stuff. Okay. But enough of that On to big announcement. So as most of you know, um, I recently got a 35 millimeter print of Rango, which, which as you all can see is right here in its beautiful glory, uh, all six reels, um, right here. And it has been in tip top condition ever since. Well, I thought this was going to be the only one I was going to have for a while. I thought wrong. Tonight, I did the unthinkable. Um, not really the unthinkable, just more like I bit the bullet and decided to go for it. Um, uh, I am getting a 35 millimeter print of the movie Borat delivered to my house. Um, I bought it off of eBay earlier today. It will be coming to my house, I think, later this week. Um, I have to check. Uh, it didn't ship yet, but um, once I get once I get tracking on it from UPS, then I can confirm, at least tentatively. Uh, so my print of Rango is gonna have a companion, um, even if they're you know not the same movies genre wise. I mean. I love both movies. I mean, I love Ra I love Rango and Borat is freaking hilarious. I love that movie. So I am going to be getting a 35 millimeter print of Borat delivered to my house later this week, hopefully. Again, I have to check um, tracking once shipping gets uh, in place, but it's coming from a trusted seller. It's coming from the same guy who gave me this Rango 35 millimeter print. Uh, so I expect good things, and, um, I mean, I'm excited, personally. I mean, I, you know, it, it, it's further proof that I'm expanding my uh, palette of uh, film uh, collecting, and, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm adding more big ones to the collection, uh, you know, aside from this and my... Uh, um, why am I not thinking of it right now? Uh, my, no, my one reel of the Wild Thornberries movie. Those are my two biggies, that and this. Uh, so I, I, I'm very excited, uh, because I love, not only because I love the movie, but because, you know, it's gonna be on 35 millimeter for crying out loud. Um, but yeah, I mean, once, once it comes, uh, do expect an unboxing video, just like, um, I did with Rango, uh, and, you know, I'll show you guys all the goodies. And, yeah, I mean, really not much. You can fundraise and buy a projector if you want. Yeah, you know what? One of these days I'll, you know, raise the money to get a working projector, even if it's like a small portable one, because I, I want at least some way to play these. I'm not just going to have them sitting around collecting dust. My goal and dream, really, is to get a way to play these. So... You know, however that may be through fundraising or, uh, you know, convincing a theater 
to get them to play them, which, by the way, Tom, I saw your comment. Uh, I, uh, crap, why am I losing my train of thought? But anyway, no, 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 I, I know, I know what you said. Uh, you were going to have, if, you know, the La Paloma Theater, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, uh, opens back up. I know you want them to play some of your 35 millimeter trailers. Honestly, I'm hoping I can find a theater that can do that for me, or at least some sort of service um, that can do that for me. You know, if I can find a projector, find you know a film vendor, so, like someone, so, or someone or something out there that can you know eventually find a way to play these films because I am just itching to like play this on some sort of projector or other exhibition you know device because I mean there's. There's good stuff on this, so I want it to be played. Uh, and, I mean, the, the quality on these things is just unparalleled. I mean, I, I, I would take I would take a... Listen, I, I, I would take a 35mm print of a movie over a digital hard drive any day. I'm sorry, look, digital's clean and all, but, I mean, film all the way. But, I mean, that's really what I have to say. I mean, I am getting a 35mm print of Borat delivered to this house. Um... My film collection is growing. Um, I don't know what will be next. I mean, I think after this, it's going to be admittedly a while until I get my next 35 millimeter movie, but we'll see. I mean, I'm itching to, I'm itching to get a few other ones. And I mean, I know how expensive, um, I know how expensive, um, uh, you know, projectors and film can get. So, I mean, I'm, I'll just be, you know, continuing my dreams, but. Yeah, really, I mean, that's all I wanted to say in this video, really, just show you my, some of my uh, new trailers I've gotten and show, uh, you know, um, tell you guys that another, another print is coming. So when that print comes, I will most definitely be doing an unboxing video and giving you guys all the goods. So that's really all, I, all I have to say, really. So thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and more unboxing videos, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys.